fire placements. This is going to be a reading for Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. And I wasn't going to do your reading tonight, and I chose to, felt guided to. But if I could describe your energy, I would literally have my hoodie on because... It feels like, like when you have your hoodie on, either you're more comfortable and you kind of need to feel cradled or, and Nova's coming to say hi, or, um, you know, you're hiding. You kind of don't want to be bothered, right? And that's kind of the energy I'm feeling. Like, it feels like, you knew okay so you 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 knew someone right and you thought you knew them and you were with them for a long time um or you knew them for a long time and they're not who you thought that they are that they would be does that make sense you're not who they thought that they are okay so i'm gonna use venus for you guys because I'm sending you so much love. I really am. Because this is some difficult fucking energy. Yet, you are like amazing. Um, all right, so yeah, let's go. So I feel like it's someone you knew, someone you thought you knew. Um, I see something about a cabin. Maybe you guys are going to go away or maybe you're going to go to a bed and breakfast or something like that. But, um, I see a trip maybe coming up, maybe even a retreat of some sort. I do see some of you traveling overseas. You know, I know everyone's talking about the whole thing that's been going on since 2020. I don't want to give it any more energy. Um, I feel like that is, yeah, no, they want me to use this deck. Um, I feel like that's not going to be an issue for you. Wherever you're meant to go, you're meant to go. But I feel like for some of you, like, I don't know, something about Italy or Greece, um, or something like that. Yeah. So, I feel for fire signs, you guys are having a lot of difficulty this winter. I think you're kind of realizing that you either have to walk away from someone or you had to walk away from them or you had to let someone go and you didn't want to. You didn't want to let them go or and you got to kind of leave them where they are and you got to move on and that's it's it's tough it's tough it's tough to move on from certain things I feel like you, some of you feel like someone used you or that you overgave and that kind of love has had bad timing in your life. Um, I need to say this, your biological clock is not ticking. If you're, you know, everything is exactly when it's supposed to happen. If you're supposed to have a kid, you're gonna, if you're supposed to get married, you're gonna. Also get to the, why do you want these things? You know, like, I think at some point after my divorce, I kind of was like, yeah, I want to get married again. Or I was seeking to be in a relationship. And now for the first time, I don't know that I want to be bothered. And I know that all of them are not the same and not to be bothered. But I know if it's meant to happen, it'll happen. Um, you know, and that's it. I, I'll meet him. And that and that's what it'll be.
So, so, all right, so some of you may be changing up your diet. You may be dealing with an air or a water sign. Um, that is kind of going through their own thing and they kind of feel like um, they want you They want you to understand. They want you to understand what it is that they're going through and they want you to be understanding. But I feel like, you know, you have been understanding and there's certain things that you just are not getting over, you know? And I feel like for a while, you guys have been seeking some form of fulfillment from someone else like from something else and you haven't been able to get it all right sorry about the noise in the background my daughter's watching a movie I'm gonna do this one a little different too. Um, I don't know if some of you may have a mole or a cyst of some sort on your body that you wanna get checked out. I, I highly recommend you getting it checked out. Yeah, okay. Okay. So, someone in your life, relationship, you wanted something with them and you were trying and you were giving and you were like, okay, what about this? Or, okay, how can I adjust my life for this? And I feel like, you know, you really wanted them. There was something in you that really wanted them. And, um, you know, you've tried to be understanding or you've kind of let a lot of stuff go. And um, it, it left you feeling very tied down. You got the Eight of Swords and you also got the Six of Swords. I feel like someone may be coming back. I'm going to be honest with you. Or maybe you're trying to go back to someone or someone's going to try to give you some form of new beginning, right? Two stories here. Someone is not taking accountability. Someone is not taking accountability. You got the accountability card in the love deck someone needs to take accountability for their actions it may be you your partner or both of you acknowledging the effect your behaviors allow is to move forward so for some of you i feel like you know you feel like your partner should understand your needs but you don't fully understand your needs or you're not allowing your part you're not finding balance where your partner's needs are being met as well, right? That's one story. The other story is you're with someone who is taking you for granted, who is caught up in their whirlwind and honestly did not realize how much they messed up until recently. And I feel like this person has deep inner child wounds. Okay, I really do. Um, Tori, lower that a little. Sorry. Um, yeah, they're coming to you and they want you to trust them. Like... It's almost like so either you or someone else kind of feels like, I don't even know you. Like, this is all a facade. Like, I don't know you. What happened? 
where did we go wrong? Like, where did I go wrong? There's a lot of sorrow and pain in this reading and sadness. You know, um, but not for long, baby. <laughs> because you got the Six of Pentacles. I feel like you have a female around you that's jealous of you. Jealousy is very normal. We all feel it. People are liars if they say they've never felt jealous. You can see something and be like, damn, I want that. And you can check yourself or, you know what? That's showing up in my reality because it's accessible to me, right? And um, you're making deals or you're waiting for deals or you're waiting for something to come in and it's going to come and it's going to give you money and the people that doubted you and that looked at you a certain way well you're doing this and why are you doing this are you taking this more serious but you're kind of putting your foot on the gas on certain things on the brake on others like you're learning discernment on a deep level fire signs and You kind of are realizing, like, I've been compromising myself too much. Like, what am I doing here? So, uh, let's see what your person has to say to you. This person I'm speaking of. Okay, Aries. Your person saying, I can't stop thinking about you. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. Leo, your person is saying, I feel you, even though we're apart. It was my fault, but I blamed you. <laughs> yeah. And Sagittarius, of course you do. I look for you everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Are you new here? Sagittarius is super fun. I left when I saw you with someone. I feel like this person is like, oh my God, they're moving on or they think you've moved on or they feel like someone is in deep paranoia, right? And they're kind of like, what is wrong? Like, I, they really just don't get it. So remember that people can only meet you as far as they've met themselves, fire signs, right? You are attracting a new beginning. I feel like someone's new. So it's someone new. I, I'm not even gonna, you know, do I feel like this person may try to come back? Mm. They may try to change. Mm -hmm. Do you want them? I don't know about that. They're gonna have, it's gonna have to be drastic. And I kind of feel like that you're so disgusted by how you were mishandled that you just are kind of like, goodbye. Goodbye. I, I, you know, I gotta go. I gotta keep moving. And you got the fool card, which is a new beginning. And you're tired of looking like a fool. You feel like you've been a fool. You're attracting something new. As I said, for some of you, this could be the person kind of waking up and saying, oh, I'm not losing, I'm not losing them. I feel like this person is like moping around, maybe not getting a haircut or not like doing their beard or their hair or <clears throat> maybe the hood thing is them. But this new person is going to be very devoted to you. And I don't know why um, Alex Rodriguez, is that his name? The guy JLo was dating. Uh, I kind of feel like this guy may be a high profile guy. I feel like he's a bit older than you. And I don't think he's gonna look like your regular type, right? This is gonna be someone who's very ded dedicated and um, whose love is unconditional. And this is gonna be a fresh start. This is gonna be someone who truly sees you. In this period, if you guys wanna get pregnant, you will. Right? Right now you're in the void. You're in a, you're in a period of just what is going on? I have no idea. I just know it's super uncomfortable. Yeah. 
you're breaking free fire signs you're breaking free of who you were and past restrictions and it's going to feel it probably feels like a bit of a storm like you know you're moving forward in many ways and you know you're on the path but i don't think you're used to kind of this weird this weird space that you're in you do have a, a massive change coming in and it kind of feels like tower energy but you have new love coming in you have something coming in you do and you got trust and let love grow showing me a bird on a nest too like on the card but then they're they're emphasizing that right let me look something up really quick. Birds almost always return to their nest and resume incubating after they have been scared off. The parents may also periodically leave the nest to feed. So in most cases, the nest is fine and the adult birds will be back and birds be left unattended. Oh my God. I feel like you guys felt like you were giving birth to something and that they just kind of abandoned you and just left the nest, right? They just, hey, we're building this. Hey, this is our little family. Hey, this is this. And they they just ruined the fucking nest, right? So it, it broke your trust. It broke your trust and you just don't feel like you have that trust in you. But, but you're in an uncomfortable state but you got let love grow and doable the key is within your grasp and no matter what it takes for things to crack open and for things to break open for you to be good and you to receive the life you desire it's going to happen some of you may be thinking about investing in a country club or a golf course or something like that but something is going to switch around with your money. And I do see you like jumping and really excited. I don't know if you're going to get a car and a house, like, but I see your life changing, baby. I really do. Mm. Let me pull two more cards for fire placements. This, this heart, your heart is hurting, but not for long, baby. Yeah. Surrender, hunger, and assessing. You have this hunger inside of you that is driving you and that when every time you want to give up, it, it gives you something, like it puts something inside of you. Um... Uh, on the assessing card is a number nine and nine is about completion and i feel like you're assessing the situation to see what areas need to be completed that's your higher self you are so divinely protected and guided spirit is very much with you spirit is very much with you guys um and i'll end it with an affirmation card the past is over this is a new day, one that I have never lived before. I stay in the now and enjoy each and every moment. Someone is in deep regret that they lost you or that they're losing you. And you're hurting now, but I see you guys getting right, get it feeling good. You're uncomfortable now, but there is something inside of you that's disconnecting to reconnect you to the right path. 
past is over and you have the hunger inside of you and spirit is with you. Surrender, baby. Let me carry you. Let me carry you across the finish line. All right. Thank you so much, Fire Signs. If you'd like to book a personal reading, the information will be down below. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you.